Hi students, I am Dr. Badrinath and uh, today our suspense thriller movie is a treatment of poison. See, the person has consumed the poison. Uh, he already started our Lord Yama, he is already on the way. He already started and he is already on the way. One side our doctor is referring for the treatment, still referring, he is referring the book. One side he is on the way, one side doctor is referring the Next scene, what happened? Next scene, next scene, very, very important. That's why the suspense thriller movie is more than the movie of Bama Kalapam. In the Telugu movie, it's very suspense thriller, you can watch it. See that this topic, poisoning topic, it should be there at your fingertips. Not only at the fingertips, it should be there at the tip of your tongue. Tip of your tongue. Even though I will come to your house and I will wake up you at the midnight, one o'clock, you have to say, sir, uh, there is a five principles, uh, five general principles of treatment of hygiene, principle one, principle two, principle three, everything you have to explain without any delay, immediately. That's why this topic is very, very important in the regular life, as well as this topic is number of times it was appeared in the examination. Keep in your mind. That's why I'm saying this is a suspense thriller movie and this is my mobile app, which you can be downloaded from the Google Play Store. Okay, and go to the store option. See the below store option. You can find the course whichever you want, and uh, you can uh, have a material. All my presentations are available in the form of PDF. Okay, right. And playlist. This is my YouTube channel. Go to the playlist. Uh, I have arranged all my explanation videos subject wise. And if you click on each subject, you will get a topic wise. Okay, right. Uh, here, here you can see the general principles of treatment of poisoning in your syllabus. See, poison is nothing but a, any substance. Any sub here you can see the poison. I have shown the picture of poison. Any substance which is uh, introduced into the living body, not the dead body. Living body are brought into contact with the any part of the body, and it will produce the ill effects. Will it will produce ill ill effects, or it will produce the death by its local action or systemic action or both local action as well as in the systemic action. Poison can be consumed in many ways. Generally, we are thinking only drinking is poison. Drinking is most commonly used process. But drinking, eating, breathing of the fumes through the skin contact, IV injection, uh, exposure to the radiation, all these are the item leads to that. See, totally there is a five principles are there. All five principles are very, I made it for you very easy. One, two, three, four, five. First one is ABCD poisoning treatment. What is this ABCD poisoning? A for apple, B for bad, okay, B for bat, C for uh, cat, D for dog, not that one. A means airway, B means breathing, C means circulation, D means dextrose. I will tell you each one, uh, I will explain you one by one. Here, summary, I have given all five principles headings, very, very important. Each one I will disclose in the separate slides. Assessment of the patient condition, diagnosis, what are the symptoms, examination, you have to do investigation and history. One side, you have to give a treatment, A, B, C, D. On the other side, investigation is going on like that. Next is prevention of the absorption of poisoning into the body, like a emesis. You have to do emesis. Otherwise, absorption will be takes place. And gastric leverage, gastric cleaning, activated charcoal, you can be used. Antidote, this is just like an elixir for... Uh, uh, poison, okay, antidote. Uh, universal antidote is also there, used for all poison. That's why this is called a universal antidote and a specific antidote. This is specific for used for specific poison. If you don't know the poison name, go for universal antidote treatment because it is. If you know the name of the poison, it is better to go for uh, when poison name is known. Here, when poison name is not known, power of five, total five principles are there. Enhancing the elimination of the toxins from the body by hemodialysis, alteration of the urinary pH, etc. Now, first we will see ABCD poisoning, a, 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 ABCD treatment, ABCD. First, the airway, A stands for airway, should be clear. Otherwise, oxygen supply will be gone. No oxygen, immediately he will die. Not due to the poison, due to the lack of the uh, oxygen. Insert, see, if he was unable to, if this track is not clear, Insert the endotracheal tube. This is endotracheal tube. Insert it because uh, path is not clear. Then you have to insert your tube. So from the tube, he can uh, easily will take the oxygen. Okay. 
and b breathing observe the breathing by oximetry if you need doubt measure the arterial blood gaseous pressure also in the patient in case of respiratory insufficiency arrange the mechanical ventilation artificial ventilation mechanical ventilation because breathing is very easy uh, breathing is very mandatory here administer nikitamide injections here nikitamide injection if needed in case of any circulation is very important the body blood circulation throughout the body is important assessed by the continuous monitoring of the pulse rate blood pressure urinary output elevate the food like this on the bed for to improve the circulation okay and uh, use vasopressor dopamine epinephrine and use the dextrose to treat the hypoglycemia a b c d endotracheal next is assessment of patient condition this is the second uh, principle uh, you have to assess the patient condition five factors are there here also myosis pupil size this is uh, actually the problem pupil size will be decreased gradually <coughs> and uh, fasciculation fasciculation means muscle movement tendon movement this is a muscle and a tendon muscle tendon this is a relationship between the uh, bone tendon and muscle see the triangle relation uh, that that movement will be decreased respiration respiration you have to observe breath rate cardio status you have to heart rate you have to be check up consciousness patient is in the consciousness or unconsciousness okay and uh, here uh, example i have given assessment in the organophosphorus poisoning myosis fasciculation respiration bradycardia cardiac status conscious level and score you have to be calculate the score hemesis when the patient has consumed through the mouth then only this is possible hemesis you have to if patient is consumed with iv injection uh, some or inhalation then it is not possible hemesis means patient if taken orally then only it is possible eliminate hemesis is nothing but vomiting elimination of the poisoning attempt to only conscious Conscious patient only can do this. Unconscious patients cannot do. Alert the patient when con conscious and alert the patient. It is a choice of drug induced vomiting is the epicoc syrup. Very important. This epicoc syrup you have to be use it. Choice of a drug to induce the vomiting. Alternative is a tickle like this. This is a alternative route. Throw it with the finger or with the spoon handle. You have to be so that the conscious patient can vomit it. Or it can be alternative is the finely powdered uh, black mustard. this is a black mustard powder you have to make it be ready okay this is also causes the vomiting next gastric leverage is nothing but gastric uh, cleaning okay do it within 1.5 hours otherwise uh, what happen uh, if you are not doing with the, if, you, if it is more than 2 hours means uh, this problem this is problem because the poison is already passed to the stomach it entered into the intestine once it entered into the intestine vomiting is not possible keep in your mind cleaning uh, that uh, gastric leverage is not uh, not possible gastric leverage <coughs> because already it crosses that's why you have to do it within 1.5 to 2 hours effect only when poison does not uh, crosses the stomach for ingredients uh, ingested poison only 30 gauze 30 gauze see here 30 gauze rail tube rail this is a rail tube very long tube you have to be insert 50 cm adult Uh, 30 cm uh, child it is a universal uh, you have to use the vaseline or vaseline otherwise tissue will be damaged okay because you are inserting the pipe vaseline or glycerin you have to be use uh, leverage fluid is a warm water saline oxidizing solution like a potassium permanganate tannic acid iodinated water or that all you can be used complications uh, there is a complications also with this vomiting pneumonia damage of esophagus gastric is also possible rail tube you have to be use it you have to be for the clearing of the gas, uh, stomach poison of absorption by the activated charcoal this is a charcoal powder charcoal tablets you know charcoal what is a charcoal see if you see the particle of the charcoal it consists of a pores number of pores like this highly surface area is very high each particle having a uh, these pores so what happened the poison will be entered into the charcoal so now you have to do a vomisis okay so once you you give it uh, this one uh, charcoal powder so entire poison will be absorbed onto the charcoal now you have to do a emesis so the poison along with the charcoal will be come out that is a thing so most effective it absorbs almost all the drug it avoids the 60% of the poison it will be absorbed and it will be come back it will be back it grasps the poison and prevents the gat absorption 
it's a fine black odorless tasteless non toxic powder it is a given after the gastric leavage keep in your mind role of antidote poisoning next is a antidote what is this antidote i will tell you there is a two types are there universal antidote uni uh, and specific antidote in this slide these are the universal antidotes keep in your mind it counteracts the effects of the poisoning it works against the poisoning it also called as a magic bullet it was uh, universal doubt it works for any poisoning this is also called as a non specific poison because it is a universal example stearic acid or a p one part or 25% supposed to be precipitate alkaloid or poison heavy metals magnesium oxide milk of magnesia one part supposed to be neutralized acids burned toast toast is burned like that bread uh, these are the uh, an antidote here you can see the antidote No, antidote is nothing but something taken to counter the effects of poison antidote but in general language nowadays all are using what is antidote for generally something that relieves a counter of unpleasant situation example is a hug is given to a good antidote uh, for a bad day and this is a specific antidote keep in your mind if the poison is paracetamol give this if the poison is warfarin give vitamin k if poison is opioid naloxone like that you can be follow poisoning cases drugs and foods these are the drugs these are the all the drugs uh, if you are taking in over excess it may cause because beta blockers see the beta blockers we are taking daily for a longer time it calms or slow down the heart rate vitamin a vitamin d if you are taking excess it causes a liver trouble all these are very very important foods uh, just like a mushroom mushroom poison is very important because it is rapidly turning mushroom is rapidly turning into the poison if you are not properly stored and inhalation this is also poison in daily we are unknowingly we are taking a poison see inhalation of the industrial pollution daily bhopal gas leak daily we are taking a small amount this is also types of poisoning acute poisoning for a short time immediately all the tablet patient is taking all the tablets within a 5 minutes a single dose is taken a single large dose like this single large dose is taking or several small small doses here where small small doses is taking within a 5 minutes within a short span large dose or small small doses chronic means single dose he is taking a small doses for a longer period ten years and uh, fulminate uh, fulminate fulminate produced by the massive doses of the poison he is taking a poison 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 four bottle five bottle rapidly he is taking death occurs very rapidly without symptoms collapses suddenly types of effects of poison on the body three types i have already told you local or systemic or both local effects example is aquatin uh, aquanite causes a tingling tissue local part of the body systemic means it enters into the blood and it shows the action opiates on cns distalis on the heart okay and both effects oxalic acid it is a combined effect it shows the both systemic action as well as this is uh, at the end 